Hi there and welcome to Assassin FX8 Binary Options Exposed. This is video 3 of 4. So today we will be going into defining the rules. So before we define the rules, let's go back one more time and have a quick look at the concept. So the concept is fairly straightforward, is we are looking for a trend to develop starting from 9.30 a.m. US market open our first entry point may develop at 9.30 a.m. So therefore, between 9.30 to 11 a.m. is the only period during the U.S. market open that we can look for a potential entry. However, in relation with the U.K. market, the Australian market, or the Asian market, if the markets would start at 10 a.m., you would then have the ability to look for a trade until 11.30. So you would practically extend it that extra 30 minutes to be the same as the U.S. market open. So wherever you are from and whichever market you will be trading, it's the first hour and a half of the market open, to keep it quite simple. So we will determine our first entry point from the 9.30 a.m. until 11 a.m. point daily. Therefore, what we're looking at is what is happening before we get to 9.30. So we're looking for some sort of momentum. So we're looking to see what type of momentum is coming into 9.30. So in this particular example, we are looking at at 9.30 at the um, at the 915 bar, the 920 bar and the 925 bar and we can see that we have an upward trend coming in to 930. 930 then becomes a negative trend and 935 follows suit. So this is what's happening at the moment heading into 930 in this particular example. So let's get started on defining the rules. So firstly what you'll need is live charts. So if you do not have live charts, well, you're basically going to have a lot of problems being able to access these signals. So what we use is Thinkorswim. So Thinkorswim we've used on Assassinate, Assassin AAA, and we will continue to use it on FX8 today. So you need good charting, you need um, up-to-date information up-to-date live feeds to be able to make the correct entries. So now that we've gone through the concept again, let's start by going through and defining the rules. So what we're looking for is an upward or downward pattern to appear before 9.30 a.m. daily. So we are looking for clear trends going up or down. So let's have a look at this point here. We're looking at clear trends heading into 9.30. So in this particular example, we have an upward trend heading into 9.30. So what we want is the bars to pivot off one another in the upward or downward trend. We are looking for three or more bars to pivot off one another in the same direction. So in this particular case, we have one bar, two bars, and the third bar. All positive bars, all green bars, and all pivoting off one another heading into 9.30. So what we want to see is how we are trending initially into 9.30 and then follow the system each 30 minutes afterwards until 11 a.m. to try and find an entry point. So in this particular case, we, we're trending into 9.30 with a positive look into the market. So on our on our currency pairs here, our forex pairs, the euro against the US, we are we are heading we're trending upward into 9.30. So therefore, so what do we do next? So once we establish our trend pattern we then look for a reversal bar, either green 
or red. So if the market is heading upwards, then we are looking for a reversal coming down. So we're looking to take a put. If the market, let's say for example, the market was being bearish, going down, we will then be looking for a reversal of trend so we can make a call, so we can go against. The forex markets are high volatility. They're a very volatile market. They move exceptionally well. So what we're looking here is to take advantage of this price momentum for a short period of time because they will not hold for a long period of time. As you can see on all these examples here, they will hold for 20 to 30 minutes and then they will have reversals. And, and what we found over time is in the open market, they will hold until our next expiry. And that's, ex and that's, and that's precisely what, what we'll be looking at in, uh, in this situation here. So let's go back to defining the rules. So we want to see how we're trending into 930. So obviously, in this example, we are heading up into 930. Okay, We have made a reversal from a downward spiral, and we are heading up into 930. So then, once we establish our trend pattern, we look for a reversal bar, either green or red. We then make the entry on the following support bar, should it pivot, starting on top of the green bar or starting below the red bar of the bar before. Once the pivot has continued in the same direction, we then apply this as a trade. So let me explain that. This is very straightforward and the rules in relation to FX8 are far more easier to comprehend and understand than with Assassin8 and with Assassin888 because you are dealing with immediate action and only in the morning trade. So what you're looking for here is you have had price movement heading in the upward direction. Now coming into 930, it has gone, it, this bar has finished negative. This bar has obviously started on top, it, it, it's peaked at this point here, but we're not, we're not too fussed with where it's peaked and we're not too fussed with where it started. What we're concerned about with this particular bar is did it end up being a negative bar? in reference to the bar before or did it end up being a positive bar? Now it's clear that it ended up finishing lower than the bar finished previous. Therefore this becomes your first reversal of trend coming into 930. Now if the following bar will start and head in the same direction you will then take this as it passes the close of the bar before for a put. And if you take this for a put, you will take it for the most possible, for the closest possible expiry, which at this point will be at 10 o'clock. And you will take the 10 o'clock expiry and it will finish down here and you will come in for a win. So all we are looking for in every scenario is a reversal of trend. And then we want to follow this reversal of trend. We want a confirmation. So we want the, the first bar to be the reversal of trend, which it has. And then we want the second bar to be the confirmation of trend. So let's, take, let's give you a, another example of this. So in this particular case, we have 9.30 heading into 11 o'clock. 9.30 heading into 11 o'clock. So from 9.30 we can see that the bars, now let's go through the bars. These are five minute candlestick bars. The green bars are the positive bars, the red bars are the negative bars, hence the reason being red. The green bars start on the bottom and finish on top, ending up a positive bar in reference to the previous bar beforehand. Now the red bars start on top but finish below, hence the reason after the five minutes they will become a negative bar or a red bar. So each of these bars is referring to five minutes of price momentum or movement. 
where they peaked. So let's take this bar for example. It's had all this price movement. It peaked here, it's peaked on the bottom here, but it's started here and closed here. And this is our main concern, where it started and where it closed. We're not too concerned at where it peaked because it did not finish there. And we are not too concerned about how low it went because it didn't finish there either. So with reference to this example here, the negative bars, one, two, three, four, all pivoting of each other. Now, there's a small little green bar here. Now, whether this is a green bar or a red bar, this is quite small price movement, so we still continue, we still have a continuation of trend here. Now, you have a silver bar here, which basically means it's practically even to the bar previous. Therefore, it's, it's not a negative and it's not a positive. But it, it's still telling us that the market is still heading south still heading down now at 930 you have no trade to make because it's still heading in the same direction you have not had a reversal now this could have looked like a reversal but at this small reversal bar we will not take this at all as, as, as a reversal of trend we really need we are looking for price momentum we are looking for these type of bars to reverse to give us price momentum so you can see that we are heading down, down. Now, at 10 o'clock, we have the first serious price movement. So, this bar has been the first reversal. So, now what we are looking for is for the following bar to pivot on top of this bar and for it to continue in that direction. Now, unlike Assassin 8, if many of you have purchased it, we are looking for some price movement heading in that direction before we take the trade. We do not just want a miniature amount of movement because this bar could go against us. It could turn red, it could go south, and hence could have a possible negative outcome. So we are looking for it to move considerably into the positive to continue the reversal of trend. This has been your, your reversal of trend. This bar is your continuation of trend and signal to make your trade. So as soon as it starts on top and has had a considerable amount of price movement, we will then take this as an entry for a call. And we will take this at the nearest expiry, which will be at 10.30. Now, I'm looking at the 10.25 bar because it closes at 10.25. It is a five-minute bar. so whether you, you take the start of the 10.30 or the close, it's, it's practically the same. So in this particular case, you've taken the reverse, you've waited for it to move. Now, you could say, well, this is open to interpretation. All things are. But in this particular case, and especially in relation to Forex, once a reversal of price momentum has been made, we are looking for confirmation. And the confirmation needs to be more than just a miniature amount for us to take the trade. So when you're saying, well, what type is good enough? Well, in this particular example, if it will go a quarter of the way in, uh, into being past the, the bar before, then, then it's, it's, a, um, it's a good enough trade to, to make. There are, there are no specifics on, on the amount that it needs to pass, but it really does need to continue the price momentum. So in this case, if we are looking at the price to the side at being a dollar 1.454, we've ended up buying this uh, 154, 1.45425. We've purchased that at about, say, 46. So this gives you an, an idea of the price momentum that we want for, for, for the confirmation. So this system is as simple as this. You are looking, it is not complex, and it was made specifically for Forex because it is high, very high volatility, and we are looking to take advantage of this because the moment we have a continuation of a particular trend heading in a particular direction, we are looking to take advantage on the reversal, whether it be on the up or whether it be on the down. Now, a lot of people have said to me, Christian, you could apply this all day to Forex and you'd win. You may, and you can trial it. But to be confident, 
in you, in the open market is when it tends to work the best. I mean, you could look at you could look at areas where, you know, for example, here it's it's gone five bars up and you've you've taken this on the reversal and it's a nice win. Yes, possible. But then again, you could find another situation where the same occurs and it ends up being a loss. So let's stick to the morning trades where it tends to work more specifically and gives us the correct entries. So going back to the rules, conceptually we are looking for a price momentum reversal heading initially into 930. So therefore we can establish a first entry point and make a trade on the binary option platform. We then follow the same process each 30 minutes if that trend occurs. However, if at 9.30 a.m. there is no reversal and three bars, either green or red, have not occurred, we continue to wait for this trend to appear until the next expiry, either at the half hour or at the hour. So what I'm saying is, is if at 9.30, if at this point from 9.30 till 11 a.m., from this point, if there is no entry, you will wait until three or more bars heading in the same direction has occurred and then a start of the reversal appears. This has appeared at 10 o'clock, confirmation appeared at 10.05, we've waited for the price to, to keep the momentum and move in that direction, we have taken the call and it's ended up for a win. So this is conceptually what you are looking at at any time between 9.30 till 11 o'clock. If you're in the Asian markets or in Australia, then you are looking at it from 10 o'clock until 11.30 for the same to occur. So let's go back to the rules. Now, the only time the trade cannot be taken is if it is five minutes before the close of the hour. So if there is no distinct trade in each direction and should no trend develop until five minutes before expiry, then you have a no trade day. So what I mean, firstly, is if you are coming at five minutes before the hour, let's say that this particular trend here at 10 o'clock occurred at 9.55, then you have no trade. You must wait for the trend to develop again. However, if it developed at 950 then you can still wait for your confirmation which would be your 955 and you would take the trade there if from this period from 930 until 11 or until 1055 there is no trend and you have seen no three bars heading positive or negative then for this particular day unfortunately you have a no trade on this particular currency pair so these let's wrap up the rules one more time and then we'll wrap up this video and in the next video we will concentrate on making as many entries as possible so we are looking for an upward or downward pattern to appear before 9 30 a.m daily we are looking for clear trends up or down we want the bars to pivot off one another in the upward or downward trend we are looking for three or more bars to pivot off one another in the same direction. We want to see how we are trending initially into 9.30 a.m. and then follow the system each 30 minutes afterwards until 11 a.m. to try and find an entry point. Once we establish our trend pattern, we then look for a reversal bar, either green or red. We then make the entry on the following support bar should it pivot starting on top of the green bar or starting below the red bar of the bar before. Once the pivot bar has continued in the same direction, we then apply this as our entry point or trade. So conceptually, we are looking for a price momentum reversal heading initially into 930. So therefore, we can establish a first entry point and make a trade on the binary option platform. We then follow the same process each 30 minutes to look for that particular trend. And if that trend occurs, then we make an entry. However, if at 9.30 a.m. there is no reversal and three bars, either green or red, have not occurred, we continue to wait for this trend to appear until the next expiry, either at the half hour or at the hour. 
The only time the trade cannot be taken is 5 minutes before the close of the hour. If there is no distinct trend in either direction and should no trend develop until 5 minutes before 11 a.m. or the expiry, we then have a no trade. So these are these are the rules. We've now given you the concept and I've given you I've defined the rules. In the next video, we will go through entries on the European market, the US market, the Asian market, and the Australian market. So this has been video three or four. I'm Christian Jacobs and I will see you in the final video. Thank you.